long page, I promise. <laughs> difficult people. I believe that difficult people are made, not born. I believe that often when a person chooses to engage with councils or similar authorities whose action or inaction directly impacts people's lives, it's because the person holds a sincere desire to make life better. I have tried to involve myself in council activities, both at parish and district level. There have been moments through all of these projects where I have found it difficult to conceal my frustrations of one sort or another, and have subsequently been on the receiving end of comments made by councillors, which I would categorise at best as unprofessional and perhaps at worst, directly harmful to the overall shared aim. I have taken the decision at times like this to swiftly remove myself fully from the activity. I've often been asked, well, why don't you stand for council then? So I'm here to answer that formally. I believe that when a person chooses to stand for election, they are choosing to put themselves in a public role with a very serious responsibility and duty of care to those they represent, whoever they are, whatever their needs, whatever their background. Councillors cannot choose their public and yet are bound to serve whoever comes their way. Assumptions I had about the level of continued professional development and other training given to councillors appear to be incorrect. I perceive a worrying lack of support and CPD for councillors. For example, I was surprised to learn from Martin Salisbury back in November 2020 that PTC has no appointed equalities officer and that any matters should, in the first instance, be raised with the town clerk. In September 2020, during the town council meeting, Councillor Shepherdson said, I think every organisation has a responsibility for its own mental health of the organisation and everybody it interacts with. And I agree. I am currently receiving care through the secondary mental health services provided by the NHS. I have a diagnosis of complex post-traumatic stress disorder. On two occasions, medical professionals have suggested I am also autistic. The complex element of my CPTSD cannot be overstated. However, my own trauma has in no small way been caused directly by people in positions of responsibility with a duty of care to me who did not care for me because they could not admit when they had made bad decisions or had handled things poorly. My tendency to quickly abandon projects, which I often care deeply about, at the moment I sense poor leadership, is very much a self-preservation technique born out of trauma. When PTC's behaviour policy was published, I felt strong concern over the clause beginning the council will carefully review a person's behaviour and possible rationale. I am certain that there are councillors serving today who have written me off as a troublemaker. I wonder whether councillors would have responded to me any differently had I disclosed my CPTSD diagnosis before engaging with them. Should I have to do that? I have significant concerns about the behaviour policy which, by my reading, makes insufficient reference to truly independent arbitration and, therefore, how PTC will adequately fulfil its duty of care to difficult people. It is for that reason that on the 7th of August I submitted an FOI pertaining to that absent information. I have had no acknowledgement or correspondence about this whatsoever and so regretfully have now referred that to the ICO. So often I have felt ignored by PTC and it is this which most often sows the seeds of anger and frustration. To simply get no response at all as a resident with legitimate concerns is not acceptable. But am I allowed to ask again? <laughs> Clearly PTC feels that the new behaviour policy is necessary. 
But in all good faith and sincerity, I ask that the policy be paused and urgently taken for review by equalities, diversity and mental health professionals. I also ask sincerely that PTC commissions regular equalities training and seeks professional support services for its members and its staff. Thank you. Well done. Thank you very much. That was very interesting.